We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the New York Yankees and the Pittsburgh Pirates. Stay tuned for Pirates Baseball next. Chris Archer gets the start for Pittsburgh in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, you can't always judge a pitcher by the numbers. I know the ERA is into the fours coming into this start, but he's actually a pretty solid pitcher. And every once in a while, he can throw some decent games in there. It's not easy having an ERA under four in baseball. He's slightly over that, but this guy's a better pitcher than that Lee ERA Hall. indicates. The center field. So here's the veteran the Brett Gardner. He's Brett. currently ninth Gardner. in the American League batting race entering play. What a terrific season this guy's having. Up near the leaders in batting average. Without a doubt the highest average and the best hitter on this team. And here's a called strike to the 36 year old veteran. It's nothing in one. Dero, Dan, we look at this Pirates ball club as they enter play here tonight. They come in playing reasonably well of late, though they have dropped their last two in a row. Yeah, Matty, you can't win when, when you're giving up that many runs. The pitcher was missing over to harder plate, not executing down and away, not brushing back anybody, making anyone feel uncomfortable. Guys were taking huge hacks off them. And to boot, the defense was on its heels. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Clearly off with his timing on that one, a swinging strike. Still 1 and 2. Now the pitch. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Boy, not what you want coming out of the gate as a pitcher, right? You don't want to have to show all of your pitches this early on in the game, but that's a quality at bat. And what does it make you do as a pitcher? You have to use a lot of your pitches, and the more pitches a hitter sees, the better chance they have to make good contact. Newman fields it cleanly, and the throw to first is in time, one gun. Batting second, the shortstop, Labor. So one away here with the bases empty and that'll bring up the exciting middle infielder Glaber Torres. First pitch on its way. Hit on the ground to short scooped up. And there are two away now. That is third. The right fielder. Giancarlo Stanton. Giancarlo Stanton now. He's always a long ball threat. Currently fourth in the American League in that department. Dero, this guy hits home runs, and usually he hits them in bunches. How about his last game? Three big flies. Yeah, going through those ABs, Dan, did them all different ways, too. The guy is just on fire. If you miss over those 17 inches, good chance you're not getting that baseball back. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. And there are our umpires for this one. Working the plate is Dave Lawrence. Dan, we got Dave Lawrence behind the dish tonight. One of the best in the business, in my opinion, but sometimes has a tendency to fall into a pattern where he's given a little bit too much on that outside okay. corner. Yeah, d -Road, one of the things he'll do, he'll open up that outside corner, especially with left-handed batters. I got and it's one, one and two. two. That misses. It's to two and two now with two away here in the top of the first. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. So the Yanks go one, two, three. Now the Pirates will get their first opportunity. No score. Jay Happ 
will be on the bump for game two of the series. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, man, we're getting a look at a guy that's really been struggling lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.50. Lots of base runners, lots of hits, and lots of walks. And that doesn't add up to very good performances. So he's going to look to turn things around in this one here today. Stepping in, Kevin Newman. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Newman. Runs up and gets this one down. But the throw will beat him at first, so the bunt for hit attempt is snuffed out. Batting second, the left fielder, Adam Frazier. So here's Adam Frazier, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. The windup and the 0 1. Rounded softly down the line toward first, but this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Frazier is unlike many of today's hitters in the sense that he doesn't have a lot of swing and miss in his approach at the plate. More often than not, he gets contact, and I'm sure that makes him a frustrating hitter to face from a pitcher's standpoint. You know, he takes his chances when he has count leverage. Without question, 1-0, 2-0. You see hurts. this guy try and get nasty a little bit. But he stays within oh, himself. Yeah. He knows what his strengths are. And he tries to drive the ball right back where it came from. So striding in, Brian Reynolds. And he'll be looking to change his fortunes in this one. He's seen his numbers take a bit of a dive in recent action. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they come in off another victory last time out, and now they're winners of eight of their last nine ball games. Yeah, Matty, this team finds itself with a huge lead, double digits right now, and climbing, playing really good baseball. Some people will say, oh, you don't want to have that big a lead. You start resting on your... And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Nothing in the Pirate first. We're on to the second now in Pittsburgh. No score on the show. All set for the start of the inning. And Here next to hit is the catcher, Gary the Sanchez. Catcher. Gary Sanchez. First pitch of the at-bat. One strike now from Archer. And this is high, a ball and a strike. Chopper to short. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. That is it. The left fielder, Mike Talkman. Next for New York, Mike Talkman, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. And the pitch. Tried to check it, and it's 0 1. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Talkman, the former Colorado Rocky. He was acquired via trade last year. Yeah, this guy's fully settled in with this ball club right now. Knows what the manager and coaching staff expect from him. Is not taken aback by anything. He's been through the spring training process and gotten to know everybody in this organization top to bottom. Late making contact on that swing and will do it again on one and two. Now the pitch. Line toward right center. And that'll split the gap as it should be extra bases. And he'll pull into second with one away. 
Let's take another look at just a that textbook swing right there. The good base. weight transfer, Begin. good hands to the ball, and solid have. contact, and great extension through the ball. Yeah, that's about as pretty as a swing gets. Nice look at it there from our camera guys as well. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar yeah. as he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner. It's 0-1. Yeah. The average for him at 267 on the year. Eight home runs and 29 driven in. <laughs> Behind 0-2 now. Tuckman, the runner at second with one away. Into right field, that's a base hit. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. Nice that's piece that's of hitting right there. Looked like the, the guy on second had to respect it and freeze a little bit. They had to freeze there for a second to make sure that line drive gets down, but eventually does get the third base. Settling in now, Tyler Wade. And he's seen his numbers on the rise here over the last five games or so. Here comes the first pitch. Hey. Rising fastball, and it catches the zone for a strike. Hey, this is a left-handed hitter that can fly down the line. If they want to turn two, they're going to have to be almost perfect. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0-2. A swing and a miss. Maybe even a foul tip, but it's held onto behind the plate for out number two. Well, their chances of pushing across the run hit. took a pretty the good hit team. after that strikeout. My it's so much tougher to four. score a guy from third with two outs instead of one. Basically, you need a hit or you need to get lucky with a wild pitch or a pass ball. So now to the plate, Mike Ford, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Comes set, the 0-1. Edge of the zone that time taken and ruled the strike. Boy, this is one of those ABs you like to hit the rewind button on. Put himself in a tough spot now, hitting with two strikes. The 0-2. One ball, two strikes, you count. One of the things every pitcher wants to do is make sure that those hitters aren't very comfortable up there. See how he runs this hard one in right here? That's a pitch you just want to try to get a hitter to move his feet a little bit. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at 2-2. Two and two. He started this guy backwards, a couple of off-speed pitches early, followed by back-to-back -back heaters. He can go either way he wants to go right now. Outside in a full count, three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. He struck him out. In and out of trouble as the inning is over. Back-to-back -back strikeouts keep him out of danger. The three of us return with more Wednesday Night Baseball after this. Josh Bell the next to hit. Leading he's set to lead off the home half of the second. The first baseman, Josh Bell. First pitch coming. Here it is. Oh, that's out. Oh, and that looked like the very one, one. definition of flailing there. It's even at one. Man, that pitch had the look of a fastball. Straight changeup, and the bottom fell out of it. The 1-1 home. 
A bouncer to the left side. Torres scoops it up. And that's the first out. Batting fifth. The third baseman. Colin Moran. Into the box now. Colin Moran. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Ball one. Bottom of the second here with no score. And that's taken for a called strike two. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. The one two is taken for ball two. Full count three and two. Gregory Polanco waits on deck. Three two pitch. A swing and a ground ball to third. Endahar brings it in. Throw on to first will get him. Score it 5 3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6 to 3 that ground exists. ball. Nevertheless, the right there are two away now. Gregory. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. Oh, that fastball oh, just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. Stepping up to the plate, Gregory Polanco. He'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Ball one. Polanco, or El Cafe, as he's sometimes referred to. He's a veteran of seven years at the major league level. A ball and a strike. Well-located fastball right there. If he can continue to do that, he'll pitch deep into this one. Two out, nobody on. And there's ball two now. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. The 2 1. Hey. I got to count. 2 and 2. Swinging a soft liner, but an easy play over at third, and that'll be that. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. Too complete. Still scoreless here on the show. Standing in, Jay Happ. 9 1 and 2 do up. Number 33, Jay Happ. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. 0-1. And, and A bouncer up the middle. Reined in. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. The center fielder, number 11, Brett. Gardner. Here's Brett Gardner now. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Edge of the zone that time taken and ruled a strike. The wind up and the 0 1. Oh, now a fastball right. that's taken close that time, but it's one and one. Two balls oh. and a strike now to the Yankees' leadoff man. Two, 
And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third and no swing. It's ball three. Three and two to the Yankees center fielder. Third inning, no score to this point. This one to right field and deep off the bat of Gardner. And that one is gone. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Home run number 16 for him on the year as the Yankees will grab a one to nothing lead. I guess the pitchers haven't been talking in the dugout because it looks like they've learned nothing about this guy. He's torched them for four home runs this series and they're still giving him pitches to hit. And that'll the bring back. up Glaber Torres. Labor. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. On, he pops it up. Polanco coming on. And nope, this one falls, so he'll get another shot. Ready with another 0 2. Grounder down the line at third. But this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0 2. The pitch. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Pretty textbook pitching right there. Jump ahead and count 0-2, and back. then start working outside the zone. Easier John said Carver. than done, but that's the way to do it. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Fouled away. The 1 1 home. Hot shot down the line, but a foul ball. 1 and 2 the count now. Now the pitch. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. The Yankees are off and running early thanks to the solo home run. We played two and a half. Now one nothing Yanks. We're back now as the Pirates line up readies for their third turn with the bats, and unfortunately for them, this club has had their issues on offense. At the start of the day, they find themselves as one of the worst teams in the league in hitting the long ball and scoring runs. I talked to one player before the game that told me he thinks things have sort of snowballed on them this year. They didn't get off to a good start, and since then, most everyone has simply been searching for answers and trying to do too much. He admitted it's been a frustrating year, but they have to keep pushing forward and looking for better ways to generate offense. The Back to you guys. Jacob. All right, thanks, Heidi. Dolly. Here comes the first pitch. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Hey, I get it. He wants to set up that breaking ball down and away. But that 0-2 fastball wasn't even close.
Ready on one and two. Hit on the ground out to short. Torres picks it up. Throws in time, and that's out number one. And that with that, we'll give you that's a quick look at our current standings no. in the AL East. Tucker. Now in the box, Cole Tucker. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. First delivery to him on the way. Ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. One ball, one strike to count. The 1-1 one, one home. One ball and two strikes to count. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. Nope. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Well Go below down. the knees Three laid two. off on the changeup there. Now the pitch. He loses him on ball four. They haven't been able to register a hit against this guy, but at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. Archer. So a runner at first with one man gone, and the pitcher scheduled to bat next. That'll bring up Chris Archer. set and the pitch showing bunt here but he takes ball one in today's game if they're going to give you an out you take it you have to find a way to execute a pitch in the zone allow him to get the bunt down and take the out at first runners on first with one down and he'll try to bunt that man to second but this one kicks foul As a look, now the pitch. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. And you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that. The sacrifice works to perfection. Now batting, second baseman, Kevin Newman. So stepping in, Kevin Newman, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Here's the first pitch to him. Oh, that's out. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Nope. Fastball there. just missed above the zone. Now you can see he's working around this guy right here. Why not? First base is open. Walk wouldn't be the worst thing in this spot. Here's the 2-0. Swing and a miss, 2-1. Two, two balls, one strike, they count. In there, 2-2. Two and two. Line drive to left. And the Pirates are in the hit column. And the tying run comes around to score from second. Hey, there's a good job of battling right there, D-Roll. Pitcher had the now advantage back. with two Let's outs, two strikes. Add You're up. one pitch away, Ranger. and boy, what a terrific piece of hitting right there. Yeah, that's a great job right there. Some guys are not afraid to hit with two strikes. They'll take that pitcher deep in the count, feeling comfortable about it. That's the type of hitter this guy is, and he was able to come through. And that'll bring in Adam Frazier. As he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Oh. 
fouled off. Hey, last two pitches back to back off speed, then he's laid on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. Runner is back. Open to send him packing, pitch on its way. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Two and two to Adam Frazier. Runner aboard at first here with two gone in a 1 1 ball game. Uh, got him on the good slider there swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight so one run on one hit no errors and a runner left on now to the top of inning number four all tied at one and one and welcome back to Pittsburgh as we check in on the field with Heidi. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. All right. Thanks, Heidi. All set for the start of the fourth. And the next to bat, the Dominican-born catcher, Gary Sanchez. First offering on its way. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but he's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. Here's a fastball low, and he's behind 2 and 0. Oh. And this is a called strike at the letters. Looked like ball three, but make it 2 and 1 instead. He's fallen behind now, 3 and 1. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Here it comes. Bullet back up the middle. Reynolds is under it to make the play on the first down. Now batting. So with the that, let's call on the guys in the Mike graphics department Hawk. to put up the pitch speed comparison for the two starters. And both guys throwing the country hardball so far. Top speeds of 95 and 97. Digging in now, Mike Talkman. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And that's in there for strike one. And he's looking sharp so far. 80% of his first pitches are for strikes. He might be able to go to distance if he keeps this up. And it's one and one. One run on three hits and no errors for the Yankees so far. Lays off the slider that time. Two and one. Hey, there's not a lot you can do with a slider breaking down and in unless you catch it way out front. I like the idea of taking it and making the pitcher bring you something a little more hittable. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. If I'm in the box right now, I'm coming unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. Inside with the fastball, and he works the base on ball. Whoa, you know a pitcher is really fighting himself when he misses a zone by that much? I'm surprised the catcher could even bring that in. At the plate, Miguel Andujar. He reached on a single in his first try. From the stretch. 
And that's taken high and outside for ball one. The 1-0. Now this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. Too tight with that one. Three and zero. Oh. Runner on first here with one gone and a one-one tie. Let it rip that time 3-0, but the fastball's by him. 3-1. and one. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. Set. Here's the 3 1. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on balls. The batter and this is the kind of thing that's been happening to him all season long. He'll cruise for a while, hitting his spots, and all of a sudden the wheels come off and he struggles. We'll see if he can recover here. First pitch of the at bat. Tyler Wade is at the plate as he looks at ball one. First and second now, one man out. That evens it up, one and one. Has a look, now the pitch. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Real ugly 0-1 swing there. As a pitcher, you've got to be hunting for the strikeout knowing you have this guy way off balance. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Too high, ball three. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. Up next for the Yankees. And time will be called here as the pitching coach heads out to the mound and hopefully try and settle this guy down a bit. Into the box, Mike Ford. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. A bullet to first base. The pitcher, number 33, Jay Hatt. So now the pitcher for the Yankees, Jay Happ. And a chance now to increase his lead if he can deliver something here with two gone. First pitch coming, here it is. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Aye. 
swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0-2 now. Hey, I know it's the pitcher at the plate, but he's going to grind it out right here. He's got a chance to help himself, and nothing's a bigger backbreaker to a team than watching the pitcher drive in a run. Nope. And he looks at a ball, one and two. Well, this is where you have to be really aggressive. One and two count on an American League pitcher that rarely bats. Go right after him. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Yankees strike for a run on the RBI double. Bottom of the fourth coming up. Two to one, New York. Leading off the inning, Brian Reynolds as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Brian Reynolds. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hey. Hey, love the confidence in that pitch right there. Going right after one of the better hitters on this team. Not afraid to execute. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Yeah, this is straight survival mode. Down 0-2. The numbers are definitely not with the batter here. Nothing in two count. And the pitch. Rounded to third. Throw to first is in time for the first down. The first baseman, number 55, Josh Bell. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And digging into bat next, the big bat of Josh Bell. First delivery to him on the way. Nope, There's a breaking ball. ball, but it's laid off and doesn't oh, find no, the no. zone. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this is a foul ball. A 1-1. One, one. And a swing and a miss as that looked like self-defense there. It's two and two. Well, that's a jam shot right there. That's as good as it gets, in my opinion. Woo! Up and in. This one sinks low and a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. Fastball too high, ball four. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving one up where he can really hurt you. Digging in for his second at bat, Colin Moran. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result that's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. 0-1, here it comes. Well, Set up away with the changeup, but it's 1-1. One one. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. One run, just one hit, and no errors so far for the Pirates. Lifted in the air out towards left center. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. Now battle. And I think the that right may field. have been a situation where right the runner right on first was waiting to oh, see if the ball was going to get down or not. If there were two outs, he most likely scores there. Instead, he has to hold it third. Can't really fault him for that, though.
Here's Gregory Polanco. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And that'll mess up an in ball too. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers pitches. And when he's getting the ball in his own he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. The 2-0. Too high. And it's 3-0. and Props to the hitter right there for laying off with a guy on third. You want to be aggressive but you have to get a pitch you can drive. Three balls and a strike to Gregory Polanco. Fourth inning of a two to one ball game. Fastball in there three and two. One of the most frustrating things for me to watch in this game is guys getting count leverage and not pull the trigger on a fastball middle in. That's why you play to get in those situations where you can try and do that. Meanwhile now this ball's trouble as it looks like it'll be good for extra bases. He's in at second safely as they take the lead with two runs scoring on the play. Now batting. Man if I was on the mound I would Take not go. let this guy hurt me. He's go been tearing away. the cover off the ball the entire series and he drives two more in right here. He is definitely a man on a mission and he's making a huge impact. Jacob Stallings will be the next hitter as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Now the 1-0. Hit in the air toward the gap in right center. After it is Gardner. He gets there and that's the second out. The batter number three. Shortstop. Goal. Tucker. So coming to the plate Cole Tucker. He scored after reaching on a walk in his first at bat. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Stanton giving chase. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. We played four full. Pirates lead it three to two. Leading off the inning, Brett Gardner, and they'll need him to get something going here. Yeah, Matt, that last one wasn't exactly a tape measure shot, but listen, a home run is a home run. I know a lot of pitchers, they call that a wall scraper in his last A-B, but listen, it counts as a home run nonetheless. One and oh, the count. Here it comes. Who pulled the string and had him way out in front, a ball and a strike. The 1-1. One, one. And it's fouled away. The 1-2. Is a slider taken for a ball. Don't be surprised if he gets another back foot slider right here. Don't think for a second just because he took the first one that this pitcher won't come back exactly the same way. Here now the 2 2. What a great battle to start this inning. What a great job by the leadoff hitter. He knows that this pitcher's starting to get up there and pitches. The manager's starting to get restless. Let's see if we can knock him out and get into that bullpen. And he fouls this one off. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch.
And another foul ball. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. And that at bat will put a smile on any now manager's bat. face. The pitch total of the opposing Labor. pitcher just keeps going four. higher and higher, and he still couldn't put him away. So this inning is off to a good start for the guys carrying the sticks. So striding forward now, Torres, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. From the stretch. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1 0. In there, and it's even at 1. Now a throw over, just keeping him close. Now the one and one pitch. Outside, that's the ball. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. The 2-1 home. Taken Aye. strike two. Don't know for sure, but I think he may have been taking there thinking his teammate on first was going to be on the move. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. On the ground is short. This could be two to second for one. Over to Bell for the double play. Doesn't come so much easier than that. Right Taylor made 6 4 3 double play and an easy one to turn. So base is empty now after the double play, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Giancarlo Stanton. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hey. The wind up and the 0 1. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Fifth inning of play here in a 3-2 ball game. Into the corner and slicing foul. The one-two. High in the air, carrying well out to deep center. Reynolds is on the move for it. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. Yanks held in check. They trail 3-2. to two. Eric Gonzalez will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Pinch hitting for the Pirates. Number two, Eric Gonzalez. And a fastball misses here to start the at bat. It's 1 and 0. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. The 1 0. Oh, that's it. Double barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right hander start to get loose. The 2 1 is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. That's taken high for a ball. It's full now. Three and two. 
That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two, but when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Eric Gonzalez is man. retired for the first Newman. out in the bottom half of the fifth. Newman. Into the box now, Kevin Newman. As he'll take a changeup here for strike one. A hit in two tries for him so far. Just got the corner that time with a fastball strike two. Two well executed pitches at the knees right there. But I know this hitter's looking for one something ball, up. Strike, Pulled the fastball down a little too much there. That's ball one. Right side but it's going to be a foul ball. One out nobody on. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out. That was a good job tying him up inside now on that batting. strikeout Left pitch. Fielder. It wasn't even Atta. in the strike zone but great with the hitter serve. protecting with two strikes that's the kind of pitch you can get him to offer at and he's probably not going to do much with it when he does make contact. Stepping in now Adam Frazier. He swings and grounds it to short. Gets dirty and gloves it. He beat it out. Nearly a remarkable play, but score at a base hit, and the inning continues with two Better away. Fielder. Hey, that's a heck of a job by the shortstop right there for him to range, at least get to that ball, and show his pitcher with a diving stop. He's willing to get dirty all day long. Wasn't able to complete the play, but the effort was there. First pitch on its way. Ball. Now a fastball that couldn't quite find the zone. It's ball one. Hey, a two-out single isn't all that bad, but it can be when you've got this part of the lineup coming up. Hits are now even at four apiece. Line towards center field. Oh, and this kicks right off of him. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Well, D roll, that looked like a pretty Number easy inning to start. Number all of a sudden, two five. outs and back to back singles, runners at first and third. Yeah, they yeah. put traffic on it. I, I guess I would throw it back at you, Dan. You get two quick outs right there, and then you get two base hit knocks. Are you even concerning yourself with the traffic on the bases, or are you just trying to execute that next pit? You know what happens a lot of times, D roll, you lose concentration, you get the first two out in the oh, inning, you think, hey, I'm going to breeze through this and get this third guy out. Next thing you know, first and third and two out, you have to make some good pitches. 0 oh, for 1 with a run score thus far the 1-0 yeah. runners at the corners two men out fouled away Hit hard toward the right side. And this is going to be a fair ball as it'll head to the corner. And the run will score from third to make this a 4-2 to two game. He pulls into second safely as a run will score on the play now as batting. well. Third base. Just some more of the same oh, for him. He's been clutch all oh, year man. with runners in scoring position. And he does it again here with a double. Tack on another RBI to his season total. comes the Yankee skipper on his way to the mound and that will bring an end to the appearance by Jay Happ. So he'll depart here in the fifth after working just four and two thirds and he's on the hook for the L unless this one turns around. Your Luis Sessa please. comes on now looking for now the final out of the inning to strand the two runners Number in scoring 85. position. Luis Sessa. At 
the plate now Colin Moran as he takes a cold strike at the knees it's 0 and 1 he's working on a one for two game so far. In the dirt and block behind the plate. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Second and third, two away. Oh, not fooled there as this ball's hammered out to deep right field. And this ball's going to get down and it should play to couple. As he arrives at second without a play, as two runs come across to score away from the play. The right field. This one just whistles Gregory. over the second baseman's head. Oh, he had oh, no God. chance to make a play on that one, and it gets fielded deep in the alley, but not before two runs score and the hitter lands on second. Standing in now, Gregory hey. Polanco. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle, it's 0-1. This is driven out to deep right center. This could be trouble. And this one will bounce into the wall. He's in at second safely. As also on the play, a run comes across now to score. The so much of this game Take is situational go. hitting, guys. Nice go job man. there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. In now, Jacob Stallings. As he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Low and away as he misses again, 2 and 0. Oh. This inning really feels like it's getting away from him out there. As a reliever, you can't let that happen. Nothing you can do about what's already happened, and it's only going to get worse if you're not focusing on the guy in the batter's box. Now the 2 0 -oh is taken, strike one. Slider misses and he's in danger of losing him here three and one. And the count will be full. Three two pitch it's the top of the zone he struck him out looking the Pirates are able to add on to their lead and after a long dry spell the good times are back again in the Steel City the three of us return with more Wednesday night baseball after this Your Stephen Brawl takes over to start the now sixth inning on the mound Pirates. number 43 Stephen Brawl New inning set to get underway, and now it'll be the catcher, Gary Sanchez. The catcher. This one doesn't look Gary. good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going, and the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. First pitch fastball in there for a called strike. Brault. A left-hander who goes an even six feet. He was selected in the 11th round back in the draft of 2013. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. Outside for a ball, one and one. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And 
and he can't get out of the way there. So the leadoff man will be aboard to open up the inning. Now, yeah, I can hear the crowd murmuring now, wondering right. if he hit him on purpose. But hey, us pitchers need to be able to throw inside, especially when facing hitters as dangerous as he is. Pretty sure this one just got away from him, and hey, that's part of the game. Ready for another chance? Mike Talkman. First pitch on its way. <clears throat> Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. On a line to shortstop. But the runner is back to avoid the double play. Up next for the Yankees. The third baseman, Miguel and Duhar. Into the box, Miguel Andujar. It was a walk in his last trip. First pitch of the at bat. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. There's one. Relay to Bell. The double play. And that's how the inning ends. Down in order go the Yankees. They're down five. It's seven to two. Bottom of the sixth inning on its way. But first, here's Heidi Watney. Well, Matt, I talked with Pittsburgh's manager during the inning break about the Pirates' offensive production to this point. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. He said they're doing an excellent job with pitch selection, meaning they're swinging at the right pitches and doing damage with them. The numbers back that up. Five extra base hits on the stat sheet, guys. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Standing in, Cole Tucker. He'll Here have the opportunity to kick it. things off as we begin the home top. sixth. Cole Tucker. Here comes the first pitch. Hey, a changeup can be a pretty good pitch on the first pitch. Kind of slow down a good fastball hitter. And here's a ball hit in the air. But no chance to run it down. It's a foul ball. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line. But now that wasn't a the great pitch, pitch to do it on. Defense. It's really not the best two strike Whoa. approach either. Ladies Kevin Kramer will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Pinch hitting for the Pirates. Number 44. Ball one. And he lays off there 1 0. Oh. The average at 284 to begin play. Six home runs and 21 driven in. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. And he watches one miss outside. 2 0 now. Hey. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. That pitch looked like it could have been a little high, but he's been calling that pitch all night. Kind of rough for a pinch hitter, but I'm sure his teammates let him know that's where the zone has been. And it's belted high and deep into right center. And that is off the wall. And he'll reach second now with one away. Well, one thing's for certain. Now that makes back. the manager second look like a genius back. right there. He calls on him to pinch hit, hoping Move for back. any kind of spark. And he gives him a little bit more than that, blasting a double that almost leaves the ballpark. Big innings often start with beginnings like this. At the plate, Kevin Newman, hey. as he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. He's working on a one for three thus far. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Stanton on the run. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Up next for Pittsburgh, the left fielder, Adam Frazier. Striding into the box, Adam Frazier. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Has a look, now the pitch. 
in there for strike one zero oh, and one. Comes set now the pitch. Wow, that's a close pitch to take, but when you're a good hitter like this guy, to take that pitch on 0-2, you have to have a pretty good eye. Hit down the third baseline, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at 1-2. and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. And he popped him up. Torres is under it to make the catch to end the inning. Pirates leave one. They're on top seven to two. Your Nick Birdie please. is on to pitch from the now bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 57. Seventh inning ready to roll and Lead stepping in will be the very fleet footed the Tyler Wade. Tyler it doesn't look very promising Wade. so far in this one as we move into the later innings down by a bundle. It's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Ball one to start the at bat. The 1 0. Hey. And that misses two and one. And now pitch on the way. To two and two now. When I broke into the league, not many guys were throwing that elevated fastball with that much velocity on it. The game has changed. Still even at two and two. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. Into the box, Mike Ford. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Oh, one, here's the pitch. I got a ball, one now it looks like a right hander's up and throwing in the Pittsburgh bullpen. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit down the line at first, but this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. The one two. And he popped him up, but this will land untouched. One out, nobody on. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Fouled off. Another 2 2 offering. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats, and all in all, he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. 3-2 pitch. Holds off on the slider, and that's a good idea as it's ball four. 
Man, that's just painful now for a back. pitcher right there. A 3-2 mm -hmm. offering that was that's right bad. on the corner, but he couldn't get him to chase, and he doesn't get the call. Can't beat yourself up You're about that one too please. much. DJ LeMayhew will be summoned off the Number bench here as he'll pinch hit with a runner at first and one gone in the LeMay. inning. In there, 0 and 1. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, LeMayhew has a batting line residing in the 290s, looking to boost that even higher here. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. And he misses with it, one and one. Hard hit ball to second. Bare-handed for one. Relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. The three of us return with more Wednesday Night Baseball after this. Zach Britton gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 53, Zach Britton. Ryan Reynolds will be the first one to greet him as he'll have to turn around and bat from the right side of the plate here. The center fielder, Ryan Reynolds. He's set. Here it comes. Oh, one here's the pitch here's a late swing and a miss strike two and some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right hander starts to loosen up a pause and the 0 2 Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and two. And that's high for a ball. It's two and two. Just hung in there on that one. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first out. The first base, number 55. So that'll bring up Josh, Josh. Bell. Bell. First pitch on its way. At the ball. Ball one, no strike. Bases are empty, one man out. And a sinker dips too out. low there. Into the dirt, in fact. You never want to fall behind as a pitcher, but doing it to a guy like this is even worse. He's got to bear down and execute for the rest of this at bat starting right now. Three and oh now. Now here's the pitch. And that's nope. low ball four. It was obvious when the count ran the 2 and 0 that they were not going to give now this guy anything to hit. Sometimes you have oh, to pick your battles, and they're going to try man. their luck with the next hitter. Trying to pick things up where we left off, Colin Moran. He's two for three and looking for more here. He 
becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. One oh. Perfect time for a mound visit right here. Just give him a breather, a chance to collect himself and get back to work. Runner at first here, one man out. And it's 2 0 oh now to Colin Moran. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Two oh count, the pitch down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and oh. Those are just two great takes right there. Those are pretty good pitches, sliders down the way, both of them just off the plate. Couldn't get the batter to fish. He's set. Here's the 3 0. And oh, not so fast, partner. A called strike on the inside part of the plate. 3 and 1 now. Can't keep that one fair, and now the count's full. This is line to left, and that's in there. Base hit. Yeah, that hard hit single right there. That's clean. Three now for batting. four. Right He's here. looking locked in. Gregory Polanco. Stepping in now, Gregory Polanco. As the first pitch sinker misses to him, it's ball one. So far, two for three in this one. The 1 0 home on its tailor made to short, six to second for one. Throw on to first, won't be in time, so they just get the one there. Now batter. That was kind of a the high catcher. degree of difficulty play Take that go. time. You see the off balance Dollar. throw to second base, and he couldn't get a lot on it, but they did get the out. Digging in, Jacob Stallings. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Britain's ready. Here it is. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Torres is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. We'll see the speedy Brett Gardner start things out when we come back. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. It's the Pirates seven and the Yankees two. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Your Cedarland is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. Number Gerard 52. Dyson will also come Blake. on now as he'll move into the Peter pitcher's Blake. number nine hold now in the order right here on that and double switch. Up. Number six. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Brett Gardner he comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Here's the first pitch to him. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball you need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. Down the left field line and deep. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Oh, and two, here it comes. One There's ball. a fastball Good well back. off the plate for a ball. He wasn't even close to swinging right there. That was a stone cold take. Here's the one and two delivery. Two balls, two strikes.
And he squares up on this one. Deep to straightaway right. Not quite out of here. It's off the out-of-town scoreboard. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Talk about starting How off about the inning with a bang. Good Goodness. When Rayburn. this thing left the bat, I thought it was Four. out of here. And I think he might have, too. Only made it to the warning track, but he glides into second base with a leadoff double. Into the box now, Torres. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. The 0 1 pitch. Ball. One and one. Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. Yankee shortstop behind in the count one and two. Take a step back right here. After three fastballs in a row, there is no chance he throws you a fourth. A runner at second, nobody out. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Here now the 2-2. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Two-two pitch is fouled away. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off-speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. Ball three. Three and two now. Hey, this has been an epic at bat right here. I don't blame the pitcher for a little nibbling right there. Maybe get a swing and a miss. He didn't bite on that one, so now we go full count. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at bat coming up. And he'll get to see another one. It'll be the 10th pitch of this at bat. Four foul balls in this AB. Pitcher cannot find anywhere to go to put this guy away. Out of the stretch, the 3 2 pitch home. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Throw on to first in time, one away. Now batting, right fielder, Giancarlo Stanton. Coming to the plate now, Giancarlo Stanton. He flew out in his last at bat. Yeah, and I'm sure he'd like a base hit of some sort right here, Matty. But hey, you know what? Another fly out wouldn't be all that bad. If he can get it deep enough, he should be able to drive in a nice run with a sack fly. One out and a runner on third. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. It's fouled away. And he fouls this one off. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And he will Great. score on the sacrifice fly. Great job there by this power hitter. Known for driving the ball out of the ballpark. Does the job right there with the sack fly and brings the run home. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Gary Sanchez. 
Bases empty and two gone following the sacrifice fly. He's set and the pitch. Fouled away. Time to be aggressive with these hitters now. After that sack fly, now it's time to try to get out of this inning with only one run scored. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now a fastball off the plate away, a ball and a strike. The 1 1 home. Ball two. Whoa, not one sure where that one missed, and I'm not sure the pitcher does either. Now the 2 1 pitch. That's ball three. Call didn't three go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. Two out, nobody on. Inside, he misses ball four. And as a pitcher, that's always tough. Looked like he got a bad break the on bat. some of those calls, but he's got to learn that sometimes Mike. the calls don't go your way and you've just got to move on. That's something that young pitchers can have a hard time with, though. Digging in now for the Yankees, Mike Talkman. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. Here comes the first pitch. Hit in the air down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. A runner on first with two away. Oh, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Wow, great pitch right there, right? Changing speeds. How about that straight changeup? How about that swing? Howdy, if you're waving at me. The 0 2 home. Squared that one up just a little late. The next 0 2. Two out with the man at first. And this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. So a run on one hit, no errors, and a man left. Home half of the eighth, straight ahead. Pirates on top, 7-3. to three. Your Ben Heller please. is on to pitch out of the now bullpen in the bottom door. half of the eighth. Number 61, Ben Heller. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll bring up the switch the hitting shortstop, Cole Tucker. Not shortstop, Cole Tucker. First pitch of the at bat. Yep, that ball went out. Ball that Looked time. like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Strike taken up in the zone. Lifted down the line in left. And Duhar trying to get there. And that will end up a foul ball. Hard liner but picked up on a hop. And there's one away. The right fielder, number six. Time to give you a look now at the numbers for our two starting pitchers. And really nothing to write home about on either line as neither guy was able to last even six innings. Stepping into the box, Gerard Dyson. Lifetime in this matchup. He's one for two. 
First pitch of the at bat on its way. No, that's low. And facing right handed pitching so far this season, Dyson is below the Mendoza line, a batting average under 200, unfortunately. Yeah, Maddie, he's well aware of it. Runners in scoring position, that's where you need to be on your game. He's just expanded the zone entirely too much in these situations. The 1 1 home. High in the air out to center field. Gardner is there. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Now batting. The second baseman, Kevin Newman. Now at the play, Kevin Newman. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. First pitch coming, here it is. Inside with the fastball, it's one and oh. Line toward the alley in left center. That gets down and the inning continues. Last pitch was a fastball. Tries to double now up with the same Let's piece of cheese and it gets turned Adam. around. Nice piece of hit. Ranger. To the plate now, Adam Frazier. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Now the 0 1. Pulled toward right center field. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. One left for Pittsburgh. But they lead it by four. It's seven to three. Ladies Michael Feliz comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this now, one off here in the top Pirates. of the ninth. Number 45, Michael Feliz. Striding in, Miguel Andujar. He was a double play victim last time around. He doesn't have to worry Miguel. about that in this situation, Matty. No one on base right now. Try and get something up so you can drive the baseball. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Lays off the slider and it's one and one. Now here's the pitch. Oh, that's out. Feliz is a guy known for his lights out stuff. He tends to rack up strikeout numbers at a very high rate. However, he does at times get wild. Walks have come back to bite him on more than one occasion. You know, it's not uncommon, Matty V, for a relief pitcher to come in with really good stuff. And it seems like he's either really hit and miss. He'll rack up a lot of strikeouts, but if he's not quite on, he'll also rack up a lot of base on balls. And that can cause a pitching coach and a manager to really start to pull their hair out. And this pitch misses here. It's ball four. And they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. The batter number 14. Second base, Tyler. And that'll Wade. bring up Tyler Wade. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. Nobody out, runner on first. And he takes this one high, one and one. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. Here it comes on one and one. Smoked on the ground, left side. A dive, and he knocks it down. 
And no chance at a recovery here as despite a great effort that time, they won't get it out on the play. Hey, sometimes you just got to tip your cap right there. You execute a nice pitch down in the zone, think you're going to get a ground ball or a swing and a miss, and you find yourself with a man on first. Got to regroup. Stepping up now, Mike Ford. And these guys are making a little push here. You have to like the effort despite the odds. Yeah, you really do, Matt. Look, they still have a significant hill to climb, but hey, they string a couple of hits together here, and all of a sudden this thing feels doable. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Oh, that good. None out, runners at first and second. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Now the 2 1 pitch. Ball three. Well, tying run on deck. He should get something really good to hit right here in a 3 1 count. I'd be sitting on a fastball middle in. From the belt, the pitch. And he ball misses four, with it. Four. Ball four. So that'll load the bases. And now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. I think he was trying to be a little too fine there. And a walk is the result. Well, the good news is he has a force at every base. The bad news? A single probably drives in a couple of runs. Keone Kella takes the ball now, now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Number 35. Kella. Gio Urshela will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Gio Urshela. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. This year against right-handed pitching, Urshela is carrying around a batting average in the 320s. That's what you might call potent. You want to talk about having a career season, Matty. This guy's That's batting average is through the roof, one of the best in the business. And maybe more importantly, his OPS is through the roof as well, which means he's doing it with damage. Tight spot. Base is loaded. Nobody out. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. The two one home. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. One there, and the tag gets him. But they do play to run on the play. Yeah, you know, that's a big wasted opportunity. Even though a run does score on the play, they're still down and trading two outs at this point in the game is really costly. Not a good turn of events for them. Digging in and looking for more, Brett Gardner. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hit hard on the ground to second. On the first, and that's your ball game. It's time to raise the Jolly Roger as the Pirate closer comes in to ice this one and picks up the save. Seven to four is the final score in tonight's game. Pittsburgh took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Chris Archer with his fourth win this season. Jay Happ permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. Keone Kella hammers down the save his 15th of the campaign. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Pleszak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.